It's been a really, really, really intensive two days here in Dubai. My name is Bernard Rono. I work with uh, a company based in Kenya, uh, Kenya Tea Packers. The company I work with is the largest tea packaging company in Kenya. As you know, Kenya is the world's largest exporter of black tea to the world. And, you know, after water, tea is the most popular beverage. So I, I have, I've, I've been the CIO of Kenya Tea Packers for the past six years now. My mandate was majorly driving the digital transformation agenda for the company. Uh, the company I work with works with over 700,000 tea farmers all across Kenya and technology has been at the heart of what we do. Uh, literally from the tea farmer that plucks tea in the morning all the way to getting your nice cup, technology has redefined the entire process. So what we've seen the past five years has been completely transformational uh, strategy implemented by the company and I came in at a time when the company uh, started the digital transformation agenda majorly to leverage on technology for efficiency, uh, cost cutting and business development. Uh, some of the technologies that we've seen uh, implemented in the company I work with for the past five years range from business intelligence to artificial intelligence and we've just completed the implementation of uh, a massive infrastructure project called the Salesforce Automation. And when you look at the impact of technology in our business, it's massive. Uh, our strategic plan has been anchored in technology. Literally, there is a touch of technology in every aspect of what we do. Uh, when you look at our company, we are obviously an FMCG company. And when you look at the entire country, we've been able to map retail trade outlets and using technology and predictive analytics with AI, you're able to tell which retail shops across the country are likely to place an order today. And so going into the future, I think technology will redefine how we do business. I think from my perspective, um, the pandemic gave us a hard reset. You know, when you, when you buy a phone and you don't like it, when you press the hard reset button, it goes back to factory settings. So all the companies went through a hard reset. And so if, I if I'm asked to define what the pandemic did for all the companies globally, I would say without a doubt, we've gone through a hard reset. You know, five years ago, the cloud was a phenomenon. And very few companies had adopted cloud. But I think now, the pandemic accelerated cloud adoption and going into the new normal before, which is now the normal normal, I think the cloud is going to redefine how companies do business. There's going to be a lot of collaboration. Uh, security, cyber security will be a major factor because now many companies are moving from traditional on-premise servers to pushing data to the cloud. That's going to push a lot of companies to uh, places that weren't very familiar with. And so there's going to be a lot of movements into the cloud. Companies are going to think around leveraging uh, around the cloud, analytics, uh, business intelligence, and there's going to be rapid, rapid, rapid adoption of technology uh, going into the future. You know, the pandemic did not uh, spare any industry, whether hospitality, uh, FMCG, where we play in, manufacturing, uh, tourism. You know, the, the, the country I come from, Kenya, uh, was hard hit by COVID just like every other country. And so, without a doubt, I think the pandemic gave us a hard reset into the future. So the role of CIO has completely changed and the pandemic was just an accelerator. You know, we used to be IT officers, IT managers, the IT guys. Now the I in CIO has changed from information to innovation. I see the role of CIO being at the heart of the business in the sense that no company can run a strategy that works without 
thinking around the role of technology. And so going into the future, I think the I in CIO will be more of innovation and just preparing the company for the next level of business. I look at my case, for example, a company that five years ago was pretty manual. Well, we are the largest tea packaging company in Kenya. Uh, but I must say that how we were able to digitally transform was moving out of our silos and making sure that when the Global CIO Forum has an event, I find it very insightful. I find these forums very futuristic. I find this forum as the platform where you can literally craft an IT strategy for any company by sitting in here for two days. Uh, and, and you know, the, the global CIO has been amazing, to say the least, in terms of bringing together proper think tanks. And one of the things that I value most by coming to such forums is you really get to meet vendors, you get to meet colleagues in the industry, and of course, part of learning new things means you also share on best practices. Um, no CIO today can craft a proper strategy without thinking around conferences like the Global CIO Summit and where CIOs meet together, either in a fire, uh, fireside chat or in a main plenary or just going through the materials and the vendors that are sitting here. I would say without a doubt, this is a very futuristic forum for the CIO.